How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming and finally welcome to the first episode of the Let's Play Mac Quest series. Okay, so I know it's been delayed for one week, but you know, it's not my fault. It is AE's fault that the thing just crashed and finally we are back here. So let's hope that uh everything will turn out well this time round. And I was actually so excited, you know, I went on to talk about a whole bunch of things only to find out that oh man the character creation had a bug. So let's see if it's been fixed. So we'll create our character now and let's name him let's play MQ. Okay, can't key numbers. Alright. So let's play MQ and uh we're going to make sure that it is spelled correctly. Okay, gender male hairstyle we'll just stick with the standard one. I think hair colour yep, I think we will just stick with the standard hair colour. Skin colour we won't change that either. The Mac though, the Mac I probably want to change it to red. This looks like a nice color. Okay, so we can only customize the base. There is no trim color, unfortunately. And confirm. Alright, so now we have our character. Ooh. Hold on. What's going on here? Okay, let me log in again and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so it looks like not all the bugs have been fixed yet. I have logged in once again and it should be okay, right? Let's see here. Okay. Mac quest, nice. Okay, I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit because this is going to be horrendously loud for you guys. Right. Welcome, welcome to MacQuest. You are now in a dropship headed for Soluna City on Planet Lorion. The Shadow Scythe Armada is nearby and are your oldest foe. You can't land until you reach level 3 or complete the missions issued by Captain Size Zero. You can find him at the front of the ship. Battle, level up, upgrade your mecha and begin your journey. Let's go. Okay, so Size Zero is obviously uh Cicero's counterpart inside of Mac quest and for those of you guys who do not know Mac quest actually comes before dragon fable so the only part of the games whereby there is a uh, timeline is Mac quest and dragon fable so right after the events of Mac quest we have dragon fable all right and what is this time until oh okay right so you have to finish all the missions level and all that first so you can check out the shops here uh, change your appearance and then your arsenal here, there's nothing to equip obviously, so shops, can check out the mecha shops, nothing that we can buy now, nothing that we want to buy either, you can check out the arms, all of that, and all of these are locked, okay level locked, so you don't won't want to buy that first, now let's just do the missions at uh, size 0, okay so if you walk up here, bay doors, what does this do, oh yeah, Right now I remember, okay, uh, funny little easter egg here. Man, this brings back a lot of memories. This is a reminder from your friendly Captain Size Zero. Please keep the bay doors closed at all times during intergalactic space travel. Okay, here, uh, we can try and play this, I guess. Oh, this one is uh, basically PvP inside of Mac Quest for those of you guys who don't know. Options. Oh, we can scale the fights too. Interesting. Okay, so we won't do that. And here, Sally, I'm so nervous about the Gears University entrance exam, drinks coffee, but nothing I do seems to help, drinks more coffee. It do seem really nervous and jittery. I know, drink <laughs> small coffee, I just do not know how to calm down. Well, maybe stop drinking so much coffee. Maybe out of that coffee you are drinking has something to do with it. Really? <laughs> Takes another giant cup of coffee. You know, eating a green apple in the morning will give you more energy than a cup of coffee. Really? That was really kind of you for telling me. I'm going to try that. Puts the coffee cup down. If we both pass our entrance exams, entrance, okay, uh, typo here, at the university, maybe you can go hang out sometime. Oh, cool. So we got a date now, I guess. And ping pong in space. Don't just stand there. Help us. This is interesting. Are we enter attack? Ping pong isn't fun now. Okay, this is quite funny. Does it? Maybe I can catch it in my face. Whoa. Okay, this is hilarious. <laughs> I hear King Gator Sidewave is going to make a statement tomorrow on the UFO heading straight towards our planet. The transmission is about to start, this is so exciting. Greetings citizens, it is I, your beloved and unanimously voted King Gator Dinkelhelm Slugrev. Yes guys, Dinkelhelm is his uh, Dinkelheim, okay, or Dinkelheim, whatever it is, is his middle name. <laughs> For those of you guys who are not aware, as you know, scientists have recently identified a large unidentified flying object on a collision course with our planet. The alien UFO responded to our diplomatic offering of slug ref rules embroidered towers with the following message. 
All your base are belong to us, you'll not survive, make your time. The aliens obviously don't recognize the value of an exquisite tower after a hot steamy bath, therefore I have no choice but to declare war. I can assure every citizen that all our base do not belong to them, we shall survive, make our time. Our military is the greatest force of mecha power in the galaxy, these aliens don't stand a chance. This isn't just a war against some invading aliens, it is a war against alienism. Alienists beware, for I slug rev shall crush you into oblivion. Whoa, what a totally great King Gideon, he is like so charismatic and righteous. Dude, I can't believe real aliens are going to attack, I hope this does not affect my classes. That would totally hush my mellow. What? Okay, interesting. Here we have size 0. I am Captain Size 0. It is a pleasure to have you aboard my ship. How can I help you? Okay, so we'll do missions. Here's the missions for us that you need to accomplish before landing. So, distress call is for Star Captains only. We'll do Intruder. Now, uh, yeah, before I start, before we really kick things off, I actually forgot to mention this, but you, some of you guys might probably be wondering why not just do this on my main account whereby I have access to some Nova Gem items. Granted, I do not have Star Captain on my main account, but uh, I do have some exclusive calendar gear as well and some other good items. But you know, I thought it'd be better if we start off as a fresh player and see how everything goes from here. Okay, and as with my Let's Play AQ and Let's Play DF series, I will be giving away this account at the end of the series. I do not know how many people actually still want a free MacQuest account nowadays, but yeah, I will just host a giveaway at the end of it. Okay, so let us continue. Okay, and this is going to be 100% free to play as with all my other Let's Play series. People are reporting strange sounds coming from this section of the ship. Due to a severe radiation leak, this sector has been closed off for over a month. No one should be down here. I would like you to search this area and see if you find anything. Yeah, radiation leak. No one should be down here, but you're sending us to go ahead and do it. A level 1 pilot. Really? Here, take my energy blade. It might come in handy if you find a stowaway or something else. Good luck. Okay, so it's quite interesting. The first battle isn't exactly a mech battle. It is a like a human combat battle right here. Okay, we'll fight this guy. So, for new players out there, if you're watching this, all you really want to do is just use strong attack. Like, there's not much reason to use anything else. Against the Master Twang, or uh, which you'll find later on at the Gears University, if you don't have a strong enough uh, weapon, then you will probably want to use Defend. But other than that, you almost always want to use strong attack. Like, there's no reason to use any other button. Of course, you will switch to your regular attack once you are done uh, with your MP bar, but yeah. Okay, and here you can see this weapon's damage range is pretty large, ranging from 1 to 8. We are doing pretty well though. And uh, there's not much to do other than just uh, button mashing over here as you guys can see. <coughs> you do get a full heal after every one of these battles, so I guess that's good. This is not good, that was a Shadow Scythe pilot. It must have sneaked in onto the ship at our last stop. I'm going to increase security patrols on this ship. In the meantime, keep an eye out. I don't want to alarm any of the students just yet. It is best to keep this situation quiet for now. Thank you. Please accept this payment for your duties. Nice. Okay. Great work. You dispatched a Shadow Scythe Star away on board the ship. Okay, that was easy. Next. Rescue. All of our ships crashed on a nearby planet crawling with Shadow Scythe invaders. A ship recently crashed on this planet but is crawling with Shadow Scythe. We have a rescue operation underway but we need you to help clear out all of the Shadow Scythe patrols. Search and destroy all the enemy units that you can find. Let's go. So we need to kill off four of them. Okay, uh, I don't know if this volume is too loud for you guys. MacQuest usually has like super loud volume or something like that. So maybe I'll tone it down to 10 or something. I only really know once I finish recording and you know listen to the playback while I'm editing the video but that will be a bit too late. So I'm just going to tone it down to 10 first. If it is a little too soft, maybe I'll turn it up in the next episode but uh, I think it's better than it being a little bit too loud and jarring for your ears, right? Oof. And one notable bug here that you guys can see is the numbers sometimes don't really make a lot of sense. like. Sometimes the numbers don't even appear, so that's pretty much a visual bug that the game has. I don't think it'll be very hard to fix that. I don't know why they haven't fixed it yet. Oh, but oh well. Level up, nice. Oh, and we do not get a full heal. Oh, okay, there's a healing station here. Oh, that's nice. 
So leveling up gives you points, okay, which you can put into all of your stats here. But you won't get to train the stats until you reach the Gears University, which is after landing the ship. So let's see how far we can get today. I think we can probably at least land the ship or get to level 3 or something like that. We'll try and finish up all of the missions here first. Uh, this basic mech, yeah, there's only really one attack that you can use right now because of this mech but uh, we'll try and buy more stuff later it is generally advised not to spend that much money on uh, early game and that is applicable for all of their games in general but uh, maybe for the tougher parts we may need to spend a bit of credits getting some better stuff shadow rock Ooh. interesting i actually have not really seen this is not a common en enemy inside of mech quest at least not to me and I think the design of this is really cool. It's like a zombie fight mecha of sorts. Wonder why we don't see more of him. Yeah, the design of this guy is really cool in my opinion. You're yeah, doing good damage with this weapon. Nice, a crit. And done. Okay, 3 out of 4 enemies destroyed. Only one left. Let's heal up first. Let's go right. There we are. You always want to heal up before going into your next battle. Keep that in mind. At level 1, I don't think you can go through two battles in a row. So, yeah. The healing pad is also pretty fast. So, I guess you don't really have to spend a lot of time on that. Nice. Alright. Done. Great work. Now we can safely evacuate the survivors. Apparently a ship was dispatched to rescue them earlier but never arrived. It's a good thing we were nearby. What do you mean we? You did nothing. <laughs> Great work. You cleared all the shadow side patrols and rescued the survivors at the crash site. Okay, so we got a heal already. What does he have inside of his shop here? Oh, okay. He brings us to Tex Max. Interesting. And you can buy the stuff here though. It's not really needed. Uh, 90 credits. Pretty cheap, I guess. Wait, we have 3345 here. Why does it show that I have 3000 lesser? Hmm. Oh, I think somebody reported that there was a visual glitch for the credits as well. So, yeah, I actually have a whole lot more than 335 uh, credits. But, yeah, like I said, we don't need to buy any of the weapons yet. So, we'll just try and hold off as much as we can without buying it. Let's talk to this pilot. I'm a rock on the wind. Watch how I drop. Fly this shit. Take controls. Let's try this. This is a mini game. Ooh. Oh, really cool. And you can blast asteroids too to get uh, freaking points. It is pretty loud on my headphones over here. I'm not sure if you guys are hearing it as loud as I am, but it's already as soft as you can get. I already turned the volume down to 10. Okay, you can't hold, you can't just hold it there to have it fire continuously, you have to click on it. Oops, oh god, I, re I shifted the window, didn't I? Okay, so I re-shifted the window back, oh my gosh, I hate it when I do that by accident. Okay, wow, that was awesome, you're a great pilot. Hey captain, do you see how well I navigated the asteroid field? Yeah, I'm sure you did. That was a lot of fun. Now we also know why Wash is so nervous all the time. So just a small little mini game and we head to the front of this ship. Yup, you can basically just see this and there's nothing else to it. You can click on him to learn more about space law and all of that. But uh, he's just rambling garbage. So not really part of the main story. Don't really have to watch through that. Alright, let's look at the other missions. Battle. Here's the, uh, there's an enemy force that needs neutralizing, so I suppose you have to kill three enemies. Okay, nice. Still very easy, they only have 40 health, they don't do a ton of damage, so should be able to kill them. Ooh. Yeah, I stand corrected, they are de dealing quite a lot of damage. But, uh, it's a good thing they don't have a lot of health. Scaling in MQ at the lower levels is not as painful as AQ and DF. Okay, and probably warp force to a lesser extent, but then again, warp force is like not really uh, 
hasn't really been updated to like end game standards to begin with so I guess that's fine yeah mech quest I feel like this is the perfect balance for lower levels you can see here the monsters they do they do quite a significant amount of damage but at the same time they don't have a lot of health so you can kill them uh, this is great for lower level players because you only have one skill and you're just button mashing that one skill. It can get pretty boring if your enemies have too much health. So this is what I uh, like about MQ that, you know, I wish we would see more of inside of AQ and inside of DF at the lower levels. Okay, level up once again. Level 3, nice. You defeated the... Uh, yes, and let's see here. To fight through one more. Shadow Mega Gunner. This guy has 10 more HP. Can we still do it with level 1 stuff though? I think we still can. Level 1 stuff will get you pretty far. Like you really don't have to buy anything or whatnot. Okay, getting a little bit close now, but it's fine. We should kill him on the next turn. Done. Easy peasy. An enemy fleet. You are flying into a shadow side fleet and Captain Sizero wants you to pilot through it. Okay, we've got the controls again. I can't believe Sizero is letting you pilot through the shadow side fleet. Well, of course, we are not at all prepared to handle a threat this big. They haven't noticed us yet, so maybe they never will. Fly through the ships carefully. You don't want to hit or shoot any of them or else they'll be aware we are here. Oh, the more aware they are of us, the longer we have to deal with them. When the blue bar is full, we are in the clear. Right. Why size zero wants you for this is beyond me, but the pilot seat is yours. So it's better not to shoot them, I guess. And I can technically land the ship and go to like uh, Soluna City already since I'm already level 3. But I just want to play through all the missions so that you guys can, you know, look at the story. Right, so just avoid them basically and don't shoot at them. I do wonder what happens if you shoot at them though. Maybe I'll try one. Try shooting at one when we are near the end. Does it take you into a battle or something? Oh yeah, it lowers, it lowers your bar. What happens? Yeah, okay, it lowers the progress bar. So just avoid them. Don't shoot. Don't shoot them and don't uh, ram into them, okay? And you'll be good to go. So if you shoot them or you ram into any of them, the blue progress bar will go backwards and that's obviously not what you want. Okay, starting to get a little bit faster now. Overall, pretty easy mini game. Nothing too hard. Basic, uh, just use your mouse to move it around. And yeah, victory, easy peasy. I guess that zero was right about you. Your piloting skills are certainly noteworthy. Okay, that's done. And the last mission, strange blip. Special boss fight. Watch picked up something strange on our sensors. Can you take a look? Yep. Okay, we might not be able to beat this guy. We'll be close though. Let's see if you can beat him with level 1 gear. Uh, he's not getting very lucky with his hits, so that's good. Okay, spoke a bit too soon. Yeah, this is gonna be close. Gonna be very close indeed. I think we should be able to pull out a win simply because we went first. Unless we just get unlucky with our damage and he gets very lucky with his. Like that. Damn, okay. Please don't jinx it. Very, very close now. Oh god, this is not good. You probably can do it uh, if you're not super unlucky. Let's see here. Yeah, as long as he doesn't kill us, we should be fine. Okay, we win. Nice. Easy. Easy, guys. And done. We are done with all the quests, so let's land the ship, land at Gears University. We are prepared to land at Gears University in Saluna City. Are you ready? Yep, let's land. Dean Wallach, a dropship is on a final approach to town now. There are many new university recruits on board. Ah, very good. Have you received the assault mecha assessment data from the incoming ship? Yes, I have it here. Hence Wallach, a computer printout. Very impressive, especially this one. The pilot candidate named <laughs> Let's Play MQ shows great promise. This should be very interesting year indeed. Judy, as the pilot of the dropship passed all the proper safety requirements? Definitely, Navigator Wash was recommended very highly from the King, King Gideon. Is there another typo here? 
Hmm, okay, hopefully you won't have a repeat of last year's landing reception. <laughs> ah, here they come now. Hmm, the angle of approach looks a little bit off. Oh boy. <laughs> hmm, Judy, can you get Nurse Helia Queen on the line for me? Oh. Helia Queen, okay, that is a reference to Harley Quinn. <laughs> Final exam to see. Okay, you got new C mail. Yay! And here we are in Soluna City. Okay, so you got all of the events here as you guys can see. And you can take the exam. You need to hurry to Gears University right away. You are going to miss your exam. You are just joking, right? <laughs> Make up higher exam required to get to Gears University. That's the whole reason you are here. Okay, let's go there. And here we are. If you walk here, you face the spider enemy. I think it's level 5. I can't remember if it scales to your level, but uh, for level 1 gear, you definitely don't want to face him because he can stun you as well. Running late. Listen up. You're going to have to do better if you want to survive the academy. Report to your entrance exam immediately. Okay, report to Starbucks for your exam. What? Oh, the horror. Don't worry, Kurtz. You're going to be fine. Nurse Helia said to stay off your foot until your body accepts the new one. That test was completely unfair. Do you see that thing move? It was completely unstoppable. Another typo. Lots of typos in early MQ, I see. Yeah, I can't believe they expect anyone to beat that thing. It was hideous. Kurtz was one of the lucky ones. Yeah, I heard that some students are undergoing 100% reconstructive surgical procedures. Make it stop. Ooh. Impossible. Ah, these people are insane. I'm out of here. Why are you waiting for a report for your funeral? <laughs> I mean, exam. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Starbucks, Prof Dinara's TA. This is my last year at Gears. I took the same test when I first came here long ago. I don't mean to brag, but I set the record score for this test. That was four years ago and no one has even come close. So let's get started. Get into your mech and prepare to fight the assessment drone. Good luck, buddy. Uh, okay, 55 HP. That's a lot of damage, right? Yeah, this guy hits like a freaking truck. Okay, one miss, that's good for us. Oh, malfunction! Interesting. Okay, I don't remember this being part of the test, but okay. Congratulations, that was very impressive. Let me see, according to the assessment info, your score is... Oh my god, this is impossible. There's no way you could score that high. There must be an error in the data. Wait a minute, I'm receiving a message from Dean Wallach. Are you sure, sir? There is no precedent for this. Well, okay, I understand. Yes, sir. Well, it looks like Wallet has something special in mind for your test. Prepare to fight some drones. Drones? Uh, okay, so the same guy, except uh, probably without the malfunction this time. Holy crap, wait a minute. This guy is hitting like a freaking truck. Oh, did we get a heal even? Oh god, we might actually lose this. Are you meant to lose this? Are you actually meant to lose this? I don't remember. Okay, that was not good. Wow, I can't believe that experimental procedure actually worked. Oh, hello, you're as good as new. Thanks to the power of gastrovian smelling socks. You're so lucky. The last guy that set a school record needed to have a brain graph afterwards. I think his name was Starbuck. He was never the same after that, and for some reason or another, zombies never seemed to want to bite him. Anyway, everyone is very impressed. You broke the old record by a huge margin. Even Dean Wallach is impressed. Hmm. And nothing ever impresses that guy. Oh, you're still here? You're all clear. Have fun at the university. Okay. Uh, so we got a record-breaking score. And we didn't die. And yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm going to wrap up the first episode of Let's Play Mac Quest here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more episodes of the Let's Play Mac Quest series. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.